what we have here, okay, we have uh, the best uh, cake mix that we could have found, the nice dark chocolate. Uh, we also put some nice uh, cage-free organic eggs in here. We have some, uh, some dark chocolate chips. We have pecans, walnuts, and uh, I guess that's it, basically it. Instead of vegetable oil, we ended up using a little olive oil um, just to keep it a, a little bit cleaner for ourselves. And that's basically it. So, so we have everything that we need here, all of our tools. I went ahead and stirred everything up, got everything mixed together, and uh, we're ready to go. We have a nice fire going, nice and stoked. We have some good coals already uh, waiting for us, and uh, we're ready to start baking our cake. So what we have here is we have the Dutch oven. We're going to go ahead and pull off the lid. Just going to rest it here on our shovel. And inside, as you can tell, we already got it nice and uh, oiled up in there with the uh, with the olive oil. Make it a little bit more non-stick in here so that the uh, the cake doesn't end up sticking, uh, which sometimes it still might, but we want to try to avoid that. So we got that in there and just kind of lined it in there. And all we're going to do now is take our uh, cake mix and go ahead and pour it into the Dutch oven. Okay, fairly simple. Try to get as much of the good stuff in there as possible. We also mix in some pecans and some, uh, some walnuts to give it a little bit more nutrition and also, of course, an awesome taste. It is a cake, by the way. So we want it to uh, taste good and we want to limit the amount of garbage that we do put into our body. So we're going ahead, getting that all done, getting everything taken care of. The more stuff we leave in the pan, the more that we're going to have to clean and the less that we have in our cake. So you want to go ahead and be thorough, make sure you take everything out of your, uh, your pot that you had in there. Okay, fairly simple. So now you can tell our cake mix is in here. It's ready to go. It's going to be a fairly big cake here. Uh, we're actually using a, uh, a double portion uh, since we have a bigger Dutch oven. So for the demonstration, it would be a little bit easier to do it this way. Um, plus, we all like chocolate cake a lot. So, um, you know, we figure we make a nice big portion of it. So without going any further, okay, I could talk a little bit as we're going. This whole process will probably take anywhere between 40 minutes uh, to an hour. Once again, depending on how many coals we put and how hot the coals are. You know, uh, so it could take anywhere between a half hour to an hour. I'd say most likely it's probably going to take closer to 40 minutes or so. Um, once again, depending on your fire, make sure you have that going. Make sure you have it stoked at all times so that you don't run out of coals in between, you know, the cooking process and you're going to ruin everything that you started and uh, end up probably throwing away a lot of good food, okay? Good expensive food. So without going uh, too crazy here, we're going to go ahead and get our lid, grab that back up, seal it up. Remember, the longer you keep the lid off the Dutch oven, the more that it could be exposed to the elements, leaves, bugs, all that other stuff uh, falling in there. And that's not really the uh, type of protein that we want. Obviously, there's rain coming in. Uh, you could hear it. So uh, another thing, you don't want to have any more uh, water in there than you need. Okay. So uh, we're ready to go. Remember, we're going to try to do this as, as best as we can. We don't want to sit here and record for uh, 45 minutes to an hour. So we kind of just want to go ahead with the highlights of the whole process so that you get it and you can go ahead and experience this on your own. And uh, I think once you once you taste a uh, Dutch oven cake, you'll realize why there's so much hype and why I'm always talking about it and plenty of our tribe members are always uh, talking about it. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, what we basically did is we got our coals 
out of our fire to put underneath. Okay, a nice layer. And since we are baking and we need the cake to rise, we obviously have to put a bunch of coals on the lid itself. Uh, itself. You know, hence a good Dutch oven with a lip um, so that it could contain those coals and hold them for you. And uh, what we're going to do now is wait. We'll probably give it about five minutes or so uh, before we start turning our Dutch oven. Okay, and uh, the method that we utilize here is I'd say maybe every 10 to 15 minutes, um, once again, depending on the heat of your, your coals. And you'll get used to it and know, you know, the more you do this, the more you'll be able to judge, um, you know, what you need depending on what's inside. Uh, every ingredient's different when you're baking. Uh, the oils are different, whether you're using a coconut oil, an olive oil, a vegetable oil, some kind of, uh, of uh, meat, you know, lard or meat, you know, or, or uh, meat fat, you know, or animal fat type oil. So they're all going to be a little bit different consistency and they're going to give you different times um, that you would have to allot to cook. So basically here I always use my measurement as kind of putting my hand... Uh, I've been doing this for enough years where I kind of know where the heat level is just by, you know, putting my hand over it and feeling the intensity of that heat, letting me know when I need to add more coals, when I need to turn it. So one thing that you want to keep in mind that most people miss when cooking or especially baking with a Dutch oven is that as I put those coals on there, some coals are going to be hotter than the others. So what, what ends up happening is you could end up be, uh, creating hot spots. So, what, so you might have part of your cake that's going to be cooking and, and burning and the other cake is still raw and untouched or the other side because it's a much slower coal uh, or, or a much slower heat because the coal has given off that much less heat. Um, one thing that you want to do to try to remedy that is continually giving your, your Dutch oven um, a quarter turn, both with the actual Dutch oven and with the lid. So to, to kind of justify that or, or to explain further how, how that works, you can tell here on the Dutch oven, there's a little handle, okay? So you have your, your bigger handle here, and then there's a, a little bit of a lip. What I do with, uh, with my pliers, or whatever tool you're gonna use for your Dutch oven, is I'll go ahead and grab this part, and I'm gonna give it a quarter turn, let's say to the right, okay? So every 10 to 15 minutes, I kinda wanna do that. What I wanna do with the other end now is actually pick up the, the Dutch oven and give that a quarter turn to the left, okay? and place that back down. So once again, every 10 to 15 minutes, depending on what the concoction is that you have inside, if it's something that's gonna cook quicker, then you might wanna do that every five minutes. If it's something that's gonna take longer to cook, then maybe you could you know, boost it up to, to 20 minutes. But my rule of thumb is always 10 to 15 minutes, give it a quarter turn to the right as far as the lid, and then give the whole body of the Dutch oven a uh, quarter turn to the left. That way you're cooking evenly, you're cooking smoothly, and, uh, you know, hopefully your finished product will be something that you're proud of. You know, not only tastes great, but also is going to look good. Okay, so whatever we do, you know, we want to give it 100%. We're investing the time, might as well do it right. So whether it's your workout, whether it's your lifestyle, or in this case, whether it's your baking with a Dutch oven or any type of cooking with a Dutch oven. So once again, this is going to probably take 40 minutes or so to get done. So uh, we'll try to just revisit this, let's say maybe 20 minutes from now, half hour from now show you what's going on, actually lift up the lid, and then we'll take it from there. All right, guys, so we're going to take a look. Uh, probably been cooking for about 25 minutes or so. Just want to lift up the lid, give it a quick glance over. I know it's not ready yet because it's just been a little too quick. Taking a look at it, things are looking pretty good. I won't even test it yet and, you know, put anything in there just to see because I know it's nowhere near ready yet. Probably another 15, 20 minutes or so. Like I said, this was a double, um, a double portion that we did since we had a bigger Dutch oven. And uh, so, you know, it's going to lot for at least another time and a half, you know, if not double time. And once again, depending on your goal, coals, how hot they are underneath. So we've been replacing it probably for the last 20 minutes. You know, as I feel that they're okay, you know what, it's not giving me as much heat as it was before. We're replacing it, constantly um, stoking the fire so that we have more coals. Thanks to uh, Victor, our tribe member, who's working the fire hard to make this happen. So he gets the first piece of cake. <laughs> um, and just remember, every time we're doing a quarter turn, okay? So the lid is going quarter turn to the right, and the whole touch oven, grab by the angle. Remember your body mechanics, okay? Core tight, just like a kettlebell movement, we're thrusting the hips forward, turning it, bringing it back down. And we got Houdini on tape. Ta-da! Congratulations, you get no cake. All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys, we sh we're done here with baking our cake. So we're just going to go ahead and take these coals off. We'll take these coals afterwards and move them over to the fire pit so that we could abide by our leave no trace principle. So we're taking that out. 
And just to give you a quick look at what it looks like on the inside, there's our cake with some ashes that just fell in there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, once again, smells great. Wish we could share it with you guys, have you taste it. So we're going to get it, go ahead and just cover this up, get it off the uh, fire. The ash will be good for a colon cleanse. <laughs> exactly, you're purifying water. Charcoal. Um, so we're basically done. All we're going to do now is we want to let it rest, let it cool down a little bit, leave it on the side, and uh, hopefully we'll have enough light to uh, show you what the finished product looked like. If not, you saw what the finished product looked like uh, inside the Dutch oven. All right, so good stuff. Great guidelines or uh, good guidelines just to show you how to uh, bake anything that's out there. Very similar uh, principles with the way that we're turning the Dutch oven. So go out there and try it once again. Don't get frustrated. You know, you might mess up a lot of cakes before you finally get it right, but uh, stick with it just like anything else because the reward at the end is uh, quite tasty. All right, so it's the next morning here, and we actually have some light to see a little bit better about how the cake came out. As you guys could tell, there's some missing here because of our uh, fearless tribe leaders getting a little hungry. So, uh, and I can I must admit I was one of them. So anyway, it uh, definitely tastes a lot better than it looks as far as from the angle that I'm seeing right here through the little camera. But uh, very tasty, very flaky, pretty thick, um, good stuff. You can tell we probably got a good uh, two inch height out of it, maybe two and a half inches or so. And that is our Dutch oven cake. Got a little bit of the leftover goodness here from our cake. Hard to tell how good it actually tastes. You can tell it's pretty moist. Dutch oven works wonders. But don't take our word for it. Give it a try. Good stuff. Helder Natural Training Center. Enjoy.